Hi everybody, it's Kai. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to another speed build video. Um, so today we are going to be building a cliff beach resort and this build was actually inspired by a movie I saw last night and the movie I saw is uh, Barbie Dolphin Magic. <laughs> and uh, that movie is basically about Barbie and her friends helping a mermaid to find a lost dolphin. Actually not lost, the dolphin was actually trapped in a research facility that uh, Ken, uh, which is Barbie's uh, next door neighbor or boyfriend, um, he did his internship there. So like they basically uh, had their vacation on this resort and at the same time Ken had uh, his internship which is nearby this resort um, but in that movie uh, Barbie and her sisters help a mermaid known as Isla um, to find her a trapped dolphin which is uh, called Emerald and Isla and her dolphins there are four dolphins in total and Isla and her dolphins are actually um, like a group and the dolphins are known as the gemstone dolphins I think it's because like a, a magic uh, or superpower they have but yeah, um, the gemstone dolphins has four dolphins and the dolphins names are Rob Robby, <laughs> Ruby, Amethyst, Emerald and Topaz so like yeah in the end um, the movie was really really nice but this build is actually inspired by the um, place that Barbie and her sisters were staying in and it is a cliff beach resort and I also actually um, created uh, some posters for the rooms uh, in this resort um, they are known as the aqua suite, the coral retreat, the lava suite and the seashell deluxe and you can see the posters on my Instagram or Twitter handle and I'll display them now um, but yeah, overall, I think this build is really, really nice um, because I really got inspired by that movie. Um, so thanks to Barbie for that. Um, but this build is actually in uh, the biggest lot in Sulani, I think. And this is my first uh, record, big, biggest recorded video in Sulani. Um, but I actually did a build on this lot, uh, but I didn't record it. It was uh, like before I started my YouTube channel. But this build took me about three hours to make. And yeah, in that movie itself, uh, the resort was like this island and then uh, the rooms around it surrounded the hotel like in an octagonal shape or something like that um, and there are also slides but there are no slides in this build because um, the sims doesn't have slides that lead to the ocean <laughs> but yeah uh, overall I'm happy with this build and this build I think consists of one two three four five about six to eight rooms but then uh, like two of the rooms are like at the top of the cliffs you see behind there so I didn't I didn't uh, really furnish it because like in my head I was thinking like it was like that part of the hotel that nobody ever uh, checks in for um, but uh, for this build there is no check-in booth because there was no space so um, you can always picture the check-in room to be like outside of the lot maybe but yeah, um, this lot uh, has like modern architecture as well as traditional island-ish architecture you will see after this. But it also has like a middle um, hangout port and also a cafe um, at the right side of the lot. And there are two rooms which are the um, non-used rooms and then uh, below it there are another two rooms. I think three and not two three rooms and then on the ground floor there are one two three four rooms wait three rooms plus one cafe and there's also like one hangout spot uh, where your sims can uh, go jet skiing or uh, travel with the boat and stuff like that but it that part is the modern architecture of it and um, I think three of the rooms are modern architecture and the other three are traditional architecture but inside uh, of each room is basically the same um, style and I use a lot of uh, island living items for this build because I was aiming for that but I also think I used um, uh, items from other packs but I'm, I can't remember uh, which packs but yeah hopefully you guys will like that but um, before we get further into the build don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and leave a comment um, and yeah <laughs> So yeah, um, this build is pretty big in my opinion. Um, it is, I think, I'm not sure which, what is the lot uh, dimensions, but the lot's name over here I can see is Sapphire Shores. Um, and uh, it's really, really colorful and I really liked, I really enjoyed like building this one because of the landscaping. 
um, and also the colors that are uh, in this build uh, overall but here I am adding this uh, roof extensions things and I really like uh, like um, that style uh, there's a specific name for it uh, Polynesian style yes Polynesian style um, and I really like the culture as well because it's different and also like unique um, and I always wanted to go to Hawaii maybe one day um, but I never got the chance to do so because I've never been to America as well um, but I'm looking forward to that if one day I will be able to have the money to go and travel to Hawaii and the US <laughs> so yeah um, I think uh, oh yeah for the foundation of this build I used the slits and also at the back you can see that I used the columns from the island living pack as well as I made like a multi-story uh, wallway walkway uh, slash deck and it's really really high and that is why it's known as the cliff uh, beach resort um, and I wanted to put like the two rooms on top which are the um, non-used ones because I actually was lazy to finish it but like in the end I just uh, thought of saying like um, it's like that part of the hotel that nobody ever checks in and maybe it's a bit haunted but yeah, that's up to you if you want to imagine like that. But here is the... Um, uh, I'm working on the ground floor here. And there are three rooms with one cafe. And one of the rooms is uh, modern architecture. And the other two are um, traditional Polynesian or islandish architecture. Um, and for the roofing of the modern architecture of the rooms, I use some skylight which I'm really happy about because it looks pretty in my opinion but uh, I also just realized that I forgot to add some fringes for the uh, top level modern uh, ho hotel rooms um, but I don't think it's no noticeable but after I said it I think you will notice it um, but yeah um, the for the wallpaper of the uh, modern architecture uh, rooms I did use some colorful uh, ones from the island living pack because I didn't want to keep it like too like formal but I wanted to make it look fun at the same time and for the uh, traditional architecture rooms I did use uh, the traditional um, island living I think straw wallpapers I'm not sure but all of the um, the interior is basically the same um, and it's covered and I think the top level one only has the um, open air windows but uh, that will not be used <laughs> but if you want to use it you can download it and also um, on my gallery which is Hi Saikai spelled H-A-I-S-A-Y-A-K-H-A-I and this video is actually 15 minutes long and there's 5 minutes left of me talking so please bear with me <laughs> um, but yeah uh, so here is the uh, lounge area, the center point um, but actually in that movie it is a restaurant and I wanted to do like a mini cafe here but there wasn't enough space I think um, so I did the cafe next to it which is this one here and this cafe is open air and it is uh, like a lot of wooden accents are in here so um, now I'm working on the interior I just wanted to keep the cafe simple there is just a bar and a sink and a uh, rubbish bin and I use this table I think from Spade which I've never used before but I really like it <laughs> um, because it's like stony and wooden at the same time so there's like uh, like multiple materials in one <laughs> structure slash object and here is the bar that I was talking about there's only a sink and a trash can I mean, I did use that bar from Get Famous I think and um, for the wall uh, decorations I just used the Island Living uh, pack items because it's pretty simple and also this is an island build so it suits that well but over here is the aqua suite, I think is the aqua suite because it has a deck and also um, a bathtub in this. Um, and I, I actually referred to like uh, local uh, hotels for the prices, but this price costs uh, 485 simoleons. Um, but if it were in US dollars, it, that would be too expensive. But it also has a mini kitchen and uh, the view is an ocean deck. And there's also uh, some jet skis that uh, your sim that checks in here can use. Um, but it's pretty simple inside and there is a mini kitchen. And I also put a microwave and some cluttering and also an armchair from the island living pack. And I did use that Ecolab style uh, 
bottle tray. It's really nice. I really like it. It's super cute. Um, but yeah, uh, for this uh, hotel room, it is just simple and also a lot of wooden accents like I said and um, I think the other hotel rooms are pretty much the same as well. Um, and I think I skipped a bit uh, for the furnishing because like I thought like it's the same for each hotel room so everything should be the same in a way but only the um, the interior uh, wall decorations are a bit different for some rooms but I think this one is the um, coral retreat I think I wrote it down here it says coral retreat but there are four rooms that I focused on um, but I think this one is the coral retreat and it costs wait no this is the lava suite because it's the cheapest <laughs> and there are not of uh there are not a lot of decorations in here but it is the lava suite and it costs around 170 um simoleons and um i wrote here it's jungle view but it is an ocean view um i think i got confused for a bit but you can see that pretty much uh for the interior is the same as well and here i'm working on the room that has two single beds which is the seashell deluxe and the seashell deluxe has a promotion <laughs> for your sims and that promotion is a promotion for a free couples massage but there is no massage room in this build so um it's just for like fun <laughs> but yeah um like I said before, you can uh, check out the posters that I made for the uh, this resort build on, up in my Instagram or Twitter, um, which is High Saikai as well. But I'll just put it uh, right down now. And yeah, um, for the uh, Seashell Deluxe, actually, I came up with the, each of the names like because I was thinking like at the at an island there should be um, corals, there should be seashells, there also should be uh, lava um, items because this is uh, Sulani and Sulani is a volcanic area but uh, the, the room that I was working on is the lava suite wait no what? no but whatever I'm confused as well but here uh, is one of the rooms that has only a single bed and I also put that floaty up on the wall for the decoration and here is a bathtub and some pictures and the same basically the same uh, toilet objects as well but here is what i want to call the glass suite but it is i think it turned out ugly so i didn't make a poster for this um but it only has a single bed and also has a cute television in it for your sim to um watch tv when they are uh, bored on a uh, vacation um and working on the toilet the toilet is quite small but i did use a different door for this one um i'm not sure why but maybe because it's a glass suite and i don't know but yeah um uh, this area here is the barbecue area and it um has those uh i think it's the patio stuff um couches and also the uh glass coffee table but yeah i'm um, working on the landscaping here i really like the landscaping in fact i love it um and i did add that mermaid tail which i think is really really um cool um between the cafe and also the center lounge area and i really love the landscaping that i did here because it is super super colorful and also it's like it looks like a proper uh retreat for me at least <laughs> but i really like the palm trees that are like short and also like uh, slanted a bit uh, that came with the island living pack it's really really nice um and then i used a lot of debug items for this build um which are the cliffs the rocks and also some jungle adventure um hanging uh trees but i did that off camera because i forgot to record that but you will see in the screenshots after this but yeah, um, this build is going to end soon, so I hope you like the rest of this build. And please leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And I'll see you soon. Bye!